You too. Kick. I'm kind of already in this conversation, but it's okay if we pick up here. We're talking about insecurity, thirst traps. If you're single and you're posting certain pictures that are thirst traps and stuff like that, only to feel sexy and empowered. If you're seeking validation for people you don't know, you gotta really search with them. Like I was saying, I don't really do YouTube shorts anymore like I used to. Like I used to wanna put a lot, but then I started noticing. Is this a sense of um, ego or narcissism? Not full blown narcissistic, but characteristics of it. I know that's just what people say, but really just say that, am I full of myself? Am I really full of myself? Because I was making videos specifically to show myself smoking, to say, oh, I look cool smoking. Oh, I'm blowing these O's. Oh, it looks cool to blow clouds. And I started, and it actually came from me listening to a, uh, an interview with Michael Knowles and the Pope, uh, not the Pope, <laughs> Michael Knowles and an exorcist. And he had mentioned like, sometimes we put out videos and stuff only simply to inflate our ego or to look cool or to uh, get uh, views or get certain comments. And even I fell into this trap of doing that. And so now if I do make a YouTube short or an Instagram video, it'll be because I'm in the middle of making a live stream. I'm just showing you guys that we're having fun. Um, and so I understand that. And I think what, what place we have to get to is our young women, our young ladies that I see on these hot tub streams still to this day, and I'm a little ashamed, a little mad, not a little mad, a little sad that there's two women that I had talked to before, and obviously I don't control anybody. But there was two women we talked to before that said they were gonna give it up, and they didn't. I just watched one young woman on there right now, and I went to her video, I clicked on it, and I almost threw up. Not because she's ugly, I almost threw it because it's sad. You know, throwing up doesn't mean always, oh, like she's ugly. Sometimes it's just a disgust, not with her, but what I have seen happen to our young women. You know, it, it, it's so disgusting sometimes. It's just like, man, this is what society and this is what is really, this is really what she believes is okay. And I'm, it's like I'm looking at a sister. It's like I'm looking at my own sister, my own sister, show her body to these sex addicts. You know, it, it, it disgusts me because it's like, man, you're so beautifully and wonderfully made but here you are putting your body out there for the world to see all for some money all for some subs to go boast on the internet to people who don't know or care about you you know and that's the thing we all get caught up in i was making videos for people who i did not know or care about <sighs> and i'm gonna have to say that i think that this stuff comes from insecurity it is an insecurity. If I had abs and muscle and I was posting, now sometimes it's different if you're trying to be like an online coach or something, and you're just saying, hey, here's my figure, go check this out. Okay, somewhat that's understandable, okay? But if you're simply getting on there every day with your butt cheeks out, men, if you're on there every day with your, your pants pulled slightly down to your waist, you know, you got your abs and you're sweating. If you're doing that simply to get views and clicks, and that's the only purpose. You're not showing off to be like, hey, I'm a coach. I'm just showing you, you know, I know what I'm doing. No, you're, you're doing it just to get the validation or get likes or get views. It's an insecurity because why do you need that validation? Because you need some, you, once again, you need validation. You need to hear somebody say, oh, I care. You need somebody to say, man, you look great. You need somebody to say this, or you want somebody to say, hey, that hard work that you put in is paying off. We all get into it, but it is an insecurity. Now, here's the thing. In this case, I, I would say insecurity is a problem, but is it, I mean, everybody has insecurities about something. I'm not like saying, oh, it's terrible you have an insecurity, but how you act on that insecurity is what ends up happening. It's, 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 and that's what I just see all the time now. When I see guys who get on, men who get on uh, streams and they're doing all this wild stuff, they're doing all this extra stuff, all this uh, nonsense um, just to get likes and views, I understand it's a business. Some of them are making money. I understand it's a business. But I think if you're acting outside of yourself or you're going to the extreme part of yourself only for that reason, it's because you're insecure. You're like, well, I need the validation of money. I need the validation of people knowing who I am. I need to make sure that this keeps going. And that shouldn't be the case. If you're going to make videos, be yourself. Be who you want to be. Okay. Like that's <sighs> some people, sometimes, you know, even I may go with the theatrics maybe add a little ump, but that's not because I want you guys to watch more. It's because I'm literally having fun sometimes. 
Sometimes when I'm up here freestyling, sometimes I'm smoking and I'm dancing. That's how I would act off camera if I was with a group of friends. I'm just having a good time. It's not fake. It's not built up for you guys. Now, like I said, there's nothing wrong with adding a little bit. Like even when you're talking, you may add a couple jokes in here and stuff like that because you don't want to be too bland. I get this, but I just think we've just gotten to this point where we're, we're seeking this stuff. And the, and the problem is anybody who speaks out about this gets gaslighted immediately. If a boyfriend comes down and says, I don't like my girlfriend um, taking pictures of, you know, her in bikinis. Oh, you're insecure. How? Isn't she the one who's insecure? She's the one putting her body out there like that just to get some other men to say, baby, you're hot and this and that. Because if not, why not just turn the comments off? You can simply turn the comments off, turn off the likes. You can't see anything. If the picture goes up, you can't see likes, you can't see no comments, nothing. They can't, they, only thing they can do is look at the picture and they can't interact with it at all. But no, people don't put up videos and pictures just to see, just to have the picture up. If that was the case, people would turn off their comments and turn off the likes. It's all for validation. And a person is not insecure if they're asking you, hey, you know what, honestly, men women if you feel like you really have to tell somebody not to put up provocative photos on instagram or something just don't even date them like it i don't think you should get to the point where you feel like you have to argue with them be like hey you know what you want to put up pictures of your butt cheeks hey man you want to put up pictures of your abs sweating in the gym cool you do that uh, i don't want to be with a person like that and then bounce i think that will solve a lot of things of insecurity you have the conversation and if they call you insecure you walk away be like all right cool i thought you know they do them, you know, but I do warn people against getting caught up. I do think social media eventually, eventually will just become part of life. I think we're still in the baby stage where the likes and views all matter, but eventually it'll become like what TV is. There'll be, there'll be the people who are good at it. There'll be the people at the top and then there'll just be everybody else. I mean, that's what YouTube is turning into the top dog at the top and everybody else. Even though y'all know I find OnlyFans disgusting, OnlyFans is the same way. There's a lot of people at the top and everybody else, okay? Twitch, a lot of people at the top, everybody else. Even people who are on Kick stream, don't get it twisted. They're, even here on Kick, there's people at the top and there's the rest of us. It's just how it's gonna play out. And eventually I think being a social media celebrity will be just like being a celebrity, not like Denzel Washington celebrity, but it will just be the top dogs and they'll be you. There'll be the, the ESPNs, there'll be the Fox Sports, there'll be the HGTVs, there'll be the big dogs, companies, real TV places, even Mr. even you guys who talk about Mr. Beast, he's not like us. Dude Perfect, they're not like us. Understand? Dude Perfect, Mr. Beast, they have a production. Okay? It is not like us. It's gonna it's very rare to find a YouTube. It's very rare to find a YouTuber who makes videos for fun. And it's the biggest YouTuber on the dang platform. It's rare you're gonna see that anymore. And it's, it, and to be honest, that's gonna die out eventually. YouTubers who just wanna get on here and make videos for fun, they're gonna hit their peak, you get 100,000 subs, and they'll probably just fizzle out. And you'll just be a regular YouTuber with 100,000 subs. You know what I mean? Might as well make content that you love to do. Because trying to keep up with the, um, what, did, what did they, what did the saying used to be called? Keeping up with the Joneses, it's out. You're not gonna be, you're not gonna be, you're not gonna be Mr. Beast. Because in order to do that, you're gonna have to, he's already done it. Of course, somebody can't come up behind him and do it, but there'll never be another Mr. Beast. There's not gonna be a kid who started and then turn that start into a production. There's not gonna be another PewDiePie. There's not going to be a kid who just started playing video games and blew up by himself. Pretty much. PewDiePie doesn't have it. Look at Game Theory. Game Theory. You think you'll ever be like the Game Theory? Who, who, if you watch their behind the scenes, all the editing, all the weeks, all the money, all the contracts, all the stuff. It's a production now. Even. I know I'm kind of going off on a tangent, but I'm just trying to say, like, why do all of this stuff? For clicks and views, it doesn't even matter anymore. You're going to have to go to the extreme. Why look for validation from the internet? The internet will eventually, like I said, it's going to turn to the big dogs. Don't go putting your body out there on your OnlyFans. Don't become a hot tub streamer in your little bikini showing off to young men 
and showing them your body. It's it's just it's not worth the money. It's not worth that. Do something you like. Do something you love. Don't feel like you have to get on there to somebody to say you're hot. Just eat. And I want to say this. I have bad days. You have bad days. There's days I feel super ugly. I'm overweight and I'm trying to drop weight. And I am finally getting to the point where I can, I'm back where I was, you know? I mean, like back to where I can eat properly. Because I was out of control for a little bit. I won't lie. I won't lie. I feel, I get depressed. I get sad. I don't want to look at myself. You get sad. You don't want to look at yourself. We get depressed, but we should never try to remedy that by giving in to our insecurities and allowing other people to tell us we're hot. I don't, I could easily get on the internet right now and go lift some heavy weight. And just to have people say, man, Trey, you're so strong. Go get it, big dog. I can do that, but I shouldn't be seeking out that kind of validation. If I have an insecurity about my body, I can either get it from my spouse or I can get it from somewhere else. But stop running to the internet to give you validation. Men, women, it ain't the route to go. Like I said before, <sighs> you can make a lot of money. Live streaming, you can make a lot of money uh, being a YouTuber. It is not dead yet. I, I know what I just said. I said it will die out. You know, eventually only the big people are going to be at the top. Corporations are going to be at the top. People who have production, people who had money to start with, eventually it's going to separate. The bigger YouTube gets, the bigger Twitch gets, even on Kickstream. You see how fast some people get verified compared to other people. It's just, it's just the way it is. And eventually, social media will get to the point where you're going to have the big dogs. The big dogs will always be the big dogs. And you'll have the rest of us, okay? There will be, there will be viral moments and you'll blow up for a little bit. And people will forget your name the next day. They'll put you on ESPN and nobody will remember you the next day. ESPN will still be there. Mr. Beast will still be the top. He's got his production going. Dude Perfect will still be there. The Game Theorist, HGTV, uh, Hulu, all these other big corporations, they're going to be the big dogs on social media. Me and you, we may find our way, but it's going to get to the point where just like if you want to be on TV, just like you want to be somewhere in this world, you're going to have to work your butt off. That's what you got to do on YouTube now. You can't If you just blow up on one video, yeah, you'll get the views, they will go back down it is very hard to sustain yourself on youtube because it takes hard work just like when you all right i'm gonna shut up after this just like when somebody gets put on um tv we see people who get put on tv and in two years they're off the tv they get fired that is the same thing with youtube you can blow up be a sensation and you're gone tomorrow my last example we saw sweetie i no knock against sweetie she said what she said but we remember Sweetie, you're my best friend. She a real bad, you know, Sweetie, who had the McDonald's deal and everything. She was huge. And then she puts out some music and it sells 2,000 copies and it's dead. She was big and she's gone. That doesn't mean it's gonna happen for everybody, but there's gonna be people who blow up and they're gone. Same thing on YouTube. You could blow up and be gone by the next year. Don't, don't. <laughs> Don't try to live for the viral moment. Be you. Get off these Instagrams and everything. Stop posting thirst traps, men and women. You don't need it, okay? You don't. Be yourself. I know you have insecurities, but it's not about confidence. It's not about being empowering. It's not about feeling sexy. You can do all that at your house, especially if you're in a relationship. Do it at your house. If you have that much confidence, you don't need to put it out there like that. Now, if you're wearing a nice dress, you're wearing a nice suit, there's nothing wrong with that. But always ask yourself, when you post a picture on Instagram or you post a video or a YouTube short or something on TikTok, ask yourself, why am I doing this? Am I doing this one to go viral? Am I doing this to get validation? Or am I doing this just because I felt like I was having a good time there and I just wanted to show some people who mess with me that I was having a good time, you know, just showing my life. And then go forward with your post as always. I love y'all. Peace.